Late in his reign, sick and possibly near death, Marcus Aurelius, the emperor of Rome, received surprising news. His old friend and his most trusted general, Ovidius Cassius, had rebelled in Syria. Having heard the emperor was vulnerable, the ambitious general declared himself Caesar and seized the throne. Marcus, whose health was not as bad as the rumors had suggested, could have sprung into action. The bloody history of Rome tells us what his predecessors would have done. Instead, he held back. He took his time. What a thing to have done. He waited to see if Cassius would come to his senses. When it was clear that he would not, Marcus knew that he would need to respond. Instead of demanding the sadistic revenge possible to a man with unlimited power, Marcus Aurelius said they would forgive a man who has wronged one, remain a friend to one who has transgressed friendship, and continue faithful to one who has broken faith. Marcus acted rightly and firmly. He ordered troops to roam to calm the panicking crowds, and he set out to do what must be done, protect the empire, put down a threat. In the end, Cassius was struck down by a lone assassin in Egypt three months later. Marcus was said to weep at the news since it deprived him of the chance to grant clemency. In response, he ordered the Senate not to put a single conspirator to death. He said, don't stain my reign with blood. While most of us won't be betrayed by a trusted general or faced with a civil war, all of us will face adversity. Markets will crash, things will break, Forces will try to hold us back. Bad stuff will happen. We can turn even this to our advantage. It is an opportunity. It's always a chance for us to practice virtue, to be good, to be decent, to be kind. If our only option is to simply be a good person and practice forgiveness, well, that's still a pretty good option too. Let virtue lead the way, Seneca said, and every step will be safe. Perhaps safe is the wrong word, but it will be the way. Thank you.